The cloud and dot-com are very similar. At the time, in the 90s, if you were a company and you didn't end your name in dot-com, then you weren't a viable enterprise, right? Whether you were a brick and mortar company, you had to be a dot-com. Whether you were a technology company, you had to be a dot-com. I'm sure those startup company that put their name on a stadium in Florida for $27 million and went out of business nine months later, probably thought that was a great marketing idea, but uh, dot-com wasn't all that. I'm sure you see a lot of these things. This is the most important part, right? This is the technology curve. You see this for everything. So we have a technology trigger, various types of things we go through, SaaS integration, cloud computing, bursting, so on and so forth. You get up into here into hybrids and all that other stuff. All this part over here, no one's really paying attention to it. When I say no one, I mean the people who are actually gonna spend money on it. It's really just happening inside of universities, large corporations with large R&D budgets, and the rest of us are just like, eh, whatever. When all this was happening, all my vendors who couldn't make it today because flights from Southwest weren't flying out of Dallas, so uh, IBM sends their apologies, uh, they were telling us about managed services. They're like, managed services, that's the future. And then we get into this peak of expectations. This is when it gets too good to be true. But then, like all things in life, we get into the trough of disillusionment, the reality of it. And we're going to talk a lot about that reality today when we talk about the how. Because it's great when you get the question why right, but then you have to actually go to work. And when you go to work and the how starts coming out, it never works like it's supposed to work. You never have enough money, you never have enough time, you never have enough people, and all the assumptions that you made are constantly under attack because the marketplace, your client, and their business are constantly changing. And it's about the only thing that you can really uh, count upon. So here we are now, we're kind of in the slope of enlightenment and that's why you see it and hear it all the time. I mean, cloud computing is so ubiquitous, it's just almost nauseating, and I'm actually gonna show you one of those nauseating things. 